Ne bir tatlı tatlılar ya. <gülüyor> ya kemeleri dolması severim ama kemeleri çok önemli. Bir gatistan. Cars traffic jam. How did that happen? Look at the cars. Totally... Look at their cars. Ah, cars. 2011, uh, nearing the end of this year's fall trip to Eastern Turkey. We, in summary, we um, spent most of our time this trip uh, either dealing with wolves or bears, <laughs> something of that nature. Um, as far as our actual monitoring efforts, most of this was done at um, Lost Island, at our island restoration, which again is about a year and a half old. Um, as usual, my experimental cages have been torn into and, and ripped up and it's unclear to me that there was a lot of value in doing much work there. We did amphibian surveys and a few things there to look at uh, some differences, but um, the cattle and, and livestock have had access to everything for a long time. Um, so that didn't seem to be a productive route. So we instead focused on Lost Island. I think it's going to be great. I think we got some really good data. We got um, good plant data, good animal data, some good hydrological data. Um, and some survivorship data on our planted trees, looking at that. And uh, also, not really by my design, but it was done by the ministry anyway. They planted more trees on the, on the uh, mainland side of the, the remnant road, which is essentially an, an, a control for our restoration. So we also spend a, a good amount of time monitoring that as a, as a reference site, a reference degraded site with the same slopes, the same... Uh, 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 soil makeup and all that kind of good stuff and so I think it's, it makes for you can make for a very nice comparison make for a very good paper and also make it's made for some wonderful training opportunities for a lot of our students this last thing we're just trying to figure finish up been having problems with uh, with uh, some of the students are learning how to walk in mud and so there's um, uh, two of my students out there um, a crazy Turk and a crazy Spaniard, and they are out um, mapping the water level. And so this is the last thing we usually do, and it's it's left to the end. If we have time, we do it. It's not the end of the world if we don't get it done. But what they're doing now is the last step in our in our Kujuk annual monitoring, and that is in the springtime the water level is relatively high, and we walk exactly the water water's edge, and that gives us the high water level mark for the year or approximately the high level water mark. And uh, now they're walking uh, the, this is probably, I think in all the years I've been coming here, this might be the lowest. It might've been a little bit lower one year, but it's, it's pretty close, so it's quite low. And so they're walking, or they're supposed to be walking, they appear to be doing some type of speed dating or something now. But, um, but I guess when they're done swapping equipment, <laughs> they should be keep, continue to be walking, but what they're going to do is they're going to walk around the perimeter and keep going, and uh, at least we want to get down to the other, uh, the far edge. It would be great if we could have gotten the whole lake, but um, we just have simply run out of time. But this will really help us get a feel for the for the topography of the lake, the bottom um, contours and things of that nature. Uh, we haven't done any monitoring on the impact of the uh, bird tower. It's not done yet and so that's one reason. The other reason is um, it's at this point now we're a little bit late in the season. We had our annual bird count yesterday and uh, we counted uh, something in the order of I can't remember off the top of my head I think it was 22,000 birds here yesterday in the, in the, on the lake for International Birding Day and that was great. Not That's a typical number for us. That's not exceptionally high that's not exceptionally low, that's just, you know, 20, 22, 23,000, 24,000 is about, is about uh, what we'd expect for this time of the year in the, in the uh, migratory season. So, we're basically shutting down the station for the year, we, we're pulling stuff out, and, um, <coughs> excuse me, our ARA station will keep running until November. Um, it's now early October, so they're going to run for another four weeks or so. But we're pretty much done here for the season. Um, and uh, I guess we, we have to leave Lost Island to the foxes now that the water level is getting so low they apparently can get there. Uh, 
So anyways, that's it. So I, I think a very successful year. This has definitely been the, the, <laughs> the canine trip. We, 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 or, or the, the predator trip, maybe I should say, the large predator. It was all about the bears. It was all about the wolves. Um, and it was a very fun trip, much more of that than we typically do. And it was um, very interesting for me. Uh, great discussions with our, our new colleagues and the students really got a lot out of it. And I think um, the press that we've generated in the local uh, media as well as the national Turkish press with both what we're doing and then also the bear that was killed by hunters. Um, it was so large, it was 300 kilos. I can't remember what I said in the podcast at the time, but it, it turns out it was 300 kilos plus or minus 50 kilos because we couldn't, we couldn't um, there was no scale large enough to weigh it in, at the university, so we had to take it to a truck scale and they're not super accurate. So, so that generated a lot of press and that's, that's good. Not, not, not good for us to get our name in the paper, but rather the ideas of talking about bears, keeping the society's name out there, Kuze Doas out there, is really good and, and um, it keeps us in people's minds and um, keeps the, the conservation we're work and the sustainable development work that we're trying to do in people's um, thoughts. And so that's great. So it's been a very successful year, even though <laughs> they cut into the restoration cages and our restoration is lagging a little bit behind some of our other parts. Um, but uh, anyway, so that's it. So 2011, Turkey, heading to Istanbul this afternoon. So, all right. So thanks everybody. It was a good year. Thanks to all my assistants. And to my, for my students that are watching this, you're going to have a quiz in a couple days. So I hope you listen to all the podcasts. Gulani rocking out. Yeah, we are going to airport. <laughs> I am the best taxi driver in class. <laughs> Maybe I will come to USA. <laughs>